I just want to start this off with Nerland's Noel, though. The former Detroit Piston, he commented on a Bleacher Report post on Instagram, and he said, good group of players, the front office and coaches, was hurting them boys last year. No BS. And I wish he had said more like how the coaches and the front office hurt the guys last year. Because to me, reading this, this sounds like a player that is a little upset with his time in Detroit. And I believe Casey last year, I might be, I know I'm not getting the quote exactly right, but he basically called Nerlens Noel a emergency piece instead of basically given an opportunity to be a part of the rotation. And he was only 28 years old last year. He's only 29, but he's not on a team right now. He has not lived up to the lottery, you know, pick that he was. But still, I just think it's a it's a player that's upset with his time in Detroit. But you were telling me before the show was going the before we started the show that you had a more interesting take than I did. So I want to hear it. So, like any Piston fan, I saw it. Um, shout out to Nick Cito uh, on Twitter. Um, he's the only reason why I really saw it. Um, cause I, because I wasn't aware of it. So I, I, I go over to Bleacher Report's post and I see him commenting because you can even, even go over there now on Bleacher Report. And he actually did comment back to um, some fans saying that, like, the defensive coverages didn't make sense, all that, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I comment. I was like, oh, no wonder they didn't play you. That, that makes so much sense. I get a message. Now, I'm not going to name who it is. He was an assistant coach with the Detroit Pistons under Dwayne Casey, okay? This assistant coach told me that Nerlens is full of shit. He's lying. He never practiced. And when Casey did tell him to come into games, he said, nah, I don't want to. He even told me a funny story about when they were in foul trouble and he was in the back and – Rashard Lewis, who was an assistant coach on the Pistons last year, had to go get him, and he didn't want to go play. So he said that Nerlens Noel was just a locker room cancer, did not want to practice with the guys, was a terrible vet, and just took the whole situation. Uh, he was just very immature about the whole situation, obviously getting traded. We, we all know, you know, we, we got Alec Burks, uh, Kimball Walker, and Nerlens Noel. Uh to create cap space for Jalen Duren, obviously. And, you know, we helped the Knicks sign Jalen Brunson. But he was kind of telling me, like, Nerlens Noel is full of crap, man. Like, he said there's a there's a reason why he's out of the league. Ooh. So I was right. My guess was correct. He's just a player that was upset with his time in Detroit. Yeah. Wow, dude. This makes me – I just got such a bad taste in my mouth about Nerlens Noel. Here I thought you were going to, like, say I was full of crap. And that I didn't know what I was talking about, but you just kind of confirmed it, man. Um, so Nerlens Noel just um, and he says no BS, but it is clearly BS. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to show you a screenshot um of a conversation, but after this is off because I can't show it on the podcast because I don't want to throw him under the bus. But I'm gonna I um I'm gonna send it to you because you were gonna laugh your ass off of like what he did uh, one game. It, it's so damn funny. <laughs> I I'm 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 just speechless right now for with Nerlens Noel. What was even what is he even trying to accomplish though? Saying something like this on a Bleacher Report post, I have no idea. I, I don't really know the motive. Maybe he's trying to get back in the league. I mean, you got guys like the Marcus Cousins that can't get in the league, but you know the Marcus Cousins never said shit about the Kings. Yeah, I mean, I mean maybe he said a, a thing or two about George Carl, but who hasn't? You know. Um, I don't know, man. Like, obviously, like even Troy even tried to trade him too, like yeah. to, to 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 put him at a contender, and then contenders didn't even want to trade for him, and then he got bought out, and then it's just like he didn't really do anything. It's just like I, I don't know. It, it's a bad look, man. Like, if you're trying to get back in the league, and then like I, I think the coach that had reached out to me took took exception to it because he attacked the coaches. And he, yeah. he told me, he's like, you know, I'm all for the players. And I was just like, yeah, absolutely, you should be. And he's just like, but when you attack coaches like that, then he's like, it, it's messed up. And I really don't look at, la looking back on last year, I don't ever seem to recall where Casey was putting guys in a bad position. It felt like 
it was a pretty decent environment, even despite all the losing. It was a pretty decent environment for guys like Jaden Ivey and Duran to grow as players. And we've commented on it before where Ivey took great strides from game one to the last game of the season. He improved so much as a player. So, yeah, Nerlens Noel, man, um, I'm going to have to wipe those 14 games that he played in out of my memory for the Detroit Pistons. I don't even remember him, to be honest with you. I think he came in – I think the only memory I have, and I could be misremembering this, and obviously his time here was not spectacular, but I think he took like a foul shot or a technical free throw uh, one time. I think it was him, and uh, it was just embarrassing. It was just foreshadowing what was to come. Or I think he got to the foul line before he had actually had a minute played in the basketball game or something like that. But anyways, Nerland's Noel, comment on Bleacher Reports. Bleacher Reports post, and he is just full of crap when it comes to full of cap, full of cap around the holidays, man. Can't be lying while Santa's watching, man. Really can't. I wonder what he's gonna get under the tree. (laughs) Maybe a new set of knees. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) 